Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, volcanoes stepping in for the earthquakes, an outlier solar forecast and news on Nova and cosmology. We're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com and we find the last day on the sun dominated by coronal holes. Their streams are still on their way to Earth, but meanwhile, even without sunspots, we have eruptive potential. Plasma filaments snaking around the disk can erupt as well, few sizable ones facing Earth the next few days, with a good example being the thin, dark, wiggling rope in the middle. Solar wind here. Folks, this is going to be one of the highest energy cosmic ray error spikes on record, closer to a supernova shell from the sun. So no, it was not real solar wind and all geomagnetic conditions are quiet. But the cosmic ray scenario is a real threat and getting scarier in those error spikes every day. Data suggests we're at the higher cosmic ray flux now than any time since the Maunder minimum, and this is forecast to get worse and worse for a considerable portion of the century. These cause bit flips, induced currents and technological disruptions, cardiac issues, and emotional instability, including panic, anxiety, and loss of focus. But of course, they also cool the planet via cloud production. Volcanoes do that too, and our lithospheric alert for the week decided to tag in those volcanoes. More concerning than the Japan eruption is Krakatoa, which has begun a new eruptive phase and has entirely hazed out view. No, people are not really allowed over to the island anymore for better pictures. Quick peek at Australia, because around the time we described the cold snap coming to the U.S. in yesterday's show, the cold wave had arrived down under. Cold, rain, and damaging winds, actually. They are abounding with a few locations, seeing their coldest mornings on record. Well, folks, the journals are having a bit of a rough go. Last week, we noted the Google launch soft attack claimed by astronomy and astrophysics, and today we see the Astrophysical Journal under DDoS attack. These are very interesting problems for these types of journals to see all of a sudden. Also, all of a sudden, the range of Solar Cycle 25 forecast just blew up. Using declining phase indicators, the top Chinese solar scientists have predicted a megacycle, a titanic sunspot surge that matches the highest activity of the modern grand maximum the last 70 or 80 years. We have now seen everything from super high activity forecasts to those who think the sun is heading into grand minimum now. Well, as we have mentioned and shown before, the magnetism of the sun really isn't going to allow for that one. Its power is actually slightly increased from cycle 24, but indeed, a longer term grand minimum should indeed be slated this century, probably cycle 26 or 27. That is the official observer's forecast. Nova up next. Simple, really. It has never been thought that supernova explosion material would be subject to local magnetic fields, but it turns out that's not the case. They are a terillium carbonic alloy, and I can fly. Magnetic fields making a bit of a habit these days of debunking what everyone thinks they can't do. And that moves us into cosmology, where we are beginning with an exceptionally encouraging look into Bose-Einstein condensates in space. Also, the major problems with dark matter and how those two things marry together. It is our contention that some of the missing matter is likely in condensate form. It's just still all the normal elements and subatomic particles we know. Nothing magic. Last but not least, super photons, the highest gamma rays ever recorded. You might remember from the Crab Nebula, and they keep detecting them higher and higher. These are requiring the newest technology upgrades to see them. And this is important because in the proper plasma cosmology, not only does dusty plasma largely replace dark matter, but one of the few open questions in the model is why don't we see higher power gamma photons? Turns out the answer is almost certainly we just need better technology. We greatly appreciate your support. If you need to catch up on cosmology or the Earth's catastrophe cycle, those films are linked below. Just two more days until the climate movie comes out to cap off the trifecta this month. We've got your wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.55 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.